Hello everyone. Welcome back to MSI Analytics. Today, I will walk you through a step-by-step -step process to calculate the difference between this year's and last year's sale in Power BI. So let's get started. First, we need to sum up the total revenue. So for this, I will create a new measure in our sales table. Now I'm going to name this measure total sale. And I'm going to use the sum function and I'm going to select our total revenue column, close the bracket and enter. So now we have our first measure ready which is for total sales. We are going to visualize it. I'm going to just drag it down here in the canvas and convert it into a card visual. And now let's visualize it in a table format. For this, I'm going to take the date from the dates table and from the date hierarchy, I'll change it to date. So now we have sales for each of the date. After that we will need sales last year since we are calculating the difference between this year and sales last year. So for this I am going to create a new measure in my sales table like this. So I'm going to name this measure as total sales last year and I'm going to use the calculate function and I'm going to choose total sales measure that we created comma and then I'm going to use this function same period last year and then I'm going to select the date from our dates table and close the bracket so our second function is now ready which is for total sales last year now I'm going to go back to my table visual and drop it right here when we add this to our table you will be able to see that this fetches sales from exactly one year prior so for example we have the date for 2021 right now but let's move forward to the dates for 2022 and you will be able to see the difference and we have our total sales last year for 2022 now to get the difference we will need to subtract total sales last year from total sales. So for this I am going to create a new measure and I am going to name this difference between this year and last year equal to and then I'm going to select total sales measure minus total sales last year measure click enter now we will put this measure into our table and now you will see that the calculation makes sense where we have sales data for both years but it is still not right so let's add some definition to our measure again for this I'm going to use if and then I'm going to say if it is blank total sales last year 
comma then blanket comma then total sales should be minus 5 total sales last year and then close the bracket here after total sales last year you are going to close the bracket and hit enter and now our data is quite right and you will confirm this by going to the first date of 2022 which is 1st January and here we have our date our total sales then total sales last year and then this is the difference that we calculated finally now let's visualize this data we can display the difference by month, day or even a year. So now let's visualize this table into a visual. For that I am just simply going to select this table and paste it right here. And I am going to convert it into a stacked column chart. And I'm going to remove total sales and total sales last year. And now we have our difference. We can also put a air slicer so it is easier for us to visualize the data for each of the years. For that, I'm going to select year from my date table and drag it right here and convert it into a slicer and let's visualize the data for 2022 so now we have the visual format and the table format we can also visualize the data for each of the month so for this I'm going to just simply select this visual copy it and then paste it and here I'm going to select month and we have our data for each of the month so this was a pretty quick format which will tell you how you can visualize the data for sales this year and last year and also see the difference between each of it. So that is it for today's video. With these three simple steps you can perform time based comparisons in Power BI. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to MSI Analytics for more Power BI tips. See you in the next video.